Hi, Dale. How are you? I'm, oops, I'm excellent. Thank you. Just disappear for a second. <laughs> okay, it's me, live stream. Okay, I've got it, people. <laughs> <laughs> Technology, hey, it's awesome, but uh, I, can... no, I, I hate it. <laughs> you hate it? <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> but, you're, but you're on it all the time with your TV show, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes, I am. Yeah, through Zoom, but uh, yeah, it's. Uh... But they make it really easy for us, so I oh, just have they? to go on and press the record button, stop the record button, and that's it. <laughs> oh, ready. super easy. Very oh, yeah. yeah, it is. Very good. I am very excited about our interview today. Yeah, me too. Okay, so let's get started. Tell us about the business you created and why it excites you. Well, my business is really... Um, to help people communicate and connect better. So it doesn't matter whether you're a business team, it doesn't matter whether you're an individual, whether you're in a personal relationship or a business relationship um, or a parent for that matter. Um, it, it's, it's, we need to communicate. Something we haven't seen much of in the past couple of years, that's my own opinion on that. Um, but no, we need to communicate. We need to communicate properly. We need to communicate in a way that the other person understands. So most of my work is done with, with companies um, and their teams to, to do just that. So they talk to each other. They share the communication. They, they share the information. And the results are, they first of all, they get along much better. There's no, there's no uh, putting out fires. Yeah, I know all about that one where I used to work. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, and, and you know, it just means that managers don't have to spend their time dealing with these human resource issues. You know, um, that being said, I do it for I I do it for groups. It could be a sports group. It could be it could be you know, Bala's well-being group. It could be anybody. Um, and I do individuals, but I, I think that the, the best results come from doing things in a group because you have that different dynamic. And why I'm passionate about it, I don't know, just it's something I started, I guess, back in 20, 2011. Um, and it just gets me excited because the information is so simple and yet we don't pay any attention to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and especially now because people are so busy there, you know, and with the last two years hasn't been any, any easier on anybody. Right. And there's just a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going back and forth, but we're all the same, the same people as we used to be. That has never changed. And I just feel that people need to be able to listen to somebody else and understand um, that person from their perspective, not yours or mine. Absolutely. And I've had the opportunity to see Dale in, uh, lead uh, different courses and presentations over the years, and you're excellent. I always walk away with some, some tidbits and hopefully... <laughs> I'm executing it properly and improving, improving my uh, communication skills and stuff. No, you've got you, you, um, tons of wisdom that you've been sharing with people. So I know it must be very gratifying to, to see the changes and helping people kind of, oh, I didn't know that's how I could do it. And, and that's awesome. Well, it's, it's the, the best part is, is when the light bulb comes on. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I was dealing with, with uh, a group of from the sheriff's office. A number of years ago they're a great group by the way they're the best people to they're awesome but you know they're sitting there and and one person says oh that's why he's like that <laughs> so when when just you know when you see when you see that realization it's just like if you only walk away with that one piece we're mm -hmm. good yeah we're always so self-focused about ourselves and not really thinking about the perspective of the other person right yeah yeah, yeah we are so, mm -hmm. so that's good so what have you gained from working in your business? Well, I, I mean, I'm, wow, that's a big one. Um, well, I've met new people. That's, that's one thing. I've met a lot of new people. I, I get as much benefit from doing it as they do. 
because I can learn from other people. And it, it also gives me that, that different perspective because, hey, we're not all, I'm not perfect. And I think the hardest thing for most of us is, is when we're with people that we're close to. And, you know, we've been with them for a while. It's just, it's, it's, it's so easy to take it from your own point of view rather than somebody else's. So just knowledge, um, learning more about the different pieces because there's just, you never stop learning, right? And that's, that's one thing that, that I'm doing. And as I mentioned to you earlier, I'm learning Spanish now, so. <laughs> I know that's very cool. I might have to check it out too. <laughs> what kind of obstacles have you had to face being in business for yourself? Uh, marketing. Yeah, it's not my, it's, it's really not my area of expertise. I do the best I can. I've learned a lot. Um, and I've learned how to do it where I feel comfortable with it. Um, and just getting getting more people because in the last couple of years, well, you know, it's been hard to do anything. Although I do I do pretty much everything online now, right? Um, but people have like right now they they're they're starting. I think people are starting to get back into training and and doing courses. I don't see it fully the way it used to be. But the thing is that now we have this, right? We have Zoom, we have, so it makes it so much easier. And a lot of my, my um, I'm going to say booklets, but worksheets, if I can put it that way, are, are online. So you can get a copy of it and you can work with it as we're going through the program. <clears throat> Absolutely. It's been a nice addition in some ways. We're looking for silver linings through the crazy couple of years is the yeah. online presence. Like you said, it gives us flexibility, even in my business, I find that too, that give the choice to clients. Do you want to meet in person or do you want to meet online? And I think a lot of people find it easier sometimes with online because it's really hard to, you know, find parking, create time to come down and have appointments or meetings and stuff. Just given the option has been nice. Yeah, but, but I, I still like, I still like being with a group of people. Oh, me too, for sure. I mean, there's, there's nothing sure. like, it, right? I mean, this is great. And even when you have, you know, 55 people on, on the call, it's great. It, but it's not, you just don't get that same feeling. Energy and stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. For sure, for sure. Yeah. What are three words to describe your business? Oh, gee, three words. Um, did you get that from the ads? It's on TV for the <laughs> HGTV. <laughs> no, I didn't. Communication, connection, and collaboration. Nice. Triple, triple C. Yeah. What is your proudest business moment? Oh, my goodness. Hmm. That's good questions. And things I don't even think about, right? Um, that's, the, that's the whole point. <laughs> um, yeah, I think when I became a master trainer in behavioral sciences. Mm. Yeah. yeah, that's pretty, pretty, you should be pretty proud. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. What's something that you learned on this path that you wish you knew at the beginning? Oh my gosh. I wish I knew about the DISC model of human behavior. <laughs> I wish I had that when I was working in the corporate world as nobody taught it. And yes, I took the Dale Carnegie course and I taught the Dale Carnegie course, but I believe like if we learn the model of human behavior, you, you understand that first, then you take the Dale Carnegie course because the, the Dale Carnegie course doesn't solve my understanding of you. It only it only makes me change, which we're going to do anyway in all of it. But if I still don't understand Shauna, then, you know, you and I would never have a good conversation. Mm -hmm. Right. So. Yeah. In the corporate world, I remember going to many courses and being kind of introduced to this, but what you actually do <laughs> is so much more important. You actually 
do exercises and worksheets and stuff to really yeah. help uh, understand and practice and that kind of stuff too. Yes, I would have loved to have that and more corporate world too, because they they kind of would tease on the edges, but really didn't get in there to really help us uh, communicate as well as we could have. I mean, it's a lot of information, but it's it's simple. I said, oh yeah, oh, okay, well that's why this person said, <clears throat> I have to think about it. It's not mm -hmm. because if you're selling something, it's not because the person doesn't want to buy it, which is what the first thing is, it goes through our mind and then people start to push, right? I mean, not everybody, but I mean, people will start to push the sale. Yeah. And yet, if you don't understand that that's the nature of this person, you're going to lose the sale anyway, because if they start pushing, right, then they're going, oh, well, I'm done. I mean, I've had a recent experience. I won't mention who the person is, but a uh, very nice person um, talking to face to face, but she, she's not getting what I'm talking about. And she's, she's saying things that I, I already know. So it's a question of, of, you have to give people space and you have to understand where people are coming from. Absolutely. And you described me to the T. I need to digest things before I make a decision to purchase. I well, exactly. almost yeah. never make a decision unless it's a cheap little thing on the side to, to make a purchase decision on the spot. Like I need to think about it and digest. That's just how I operate. Or, or a pair of shoes. <laughs> True. Or, or, or a bag, a nice, a nice purse or something. I like those. They're the right price. They're yeah. in my size. <laughs> Done deal. Yeah, purses too. Purses too. <laughs> oh, a little bit less on the purses, but definitely the shoes. Purse, a purse can fit anything, right? Shoes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is your business wish list for the next 10 years? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be working that long. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, a wish list. Hmm. Well, I think at the top of the list would be able to would be to take my business anywhere I go, which I can do, and do it from there. And on my time because I've stepped back quite a bit. Um, so I can pick and choose. And if I choose to play golf instead of giving a class, then that's my choice, right? Absolutely. So wish list. Yeah. Nice. I love it. I love it. What advice do you have for a prospective entrepreneur? Talk to people. Talk to other entrepreneurs. Um, find out how they did things. Learn as much as you can and be prepared to be lonely. Yes, it's very lonely. I agree. Good advice. Yeah. Good advice. And, and, you know, and, and go to networking groups. Even if you haven't started a business yet, just go meet people, find out what they're doing, find out who's out there. So that when you start, like I started with, I had no clue what I was doing, not this, but something else. I had no clue. I didn't know how to start a business. So that's the most important thing. Even if you go to, let's say, I, I think the governments are still running their programs, find out because they give courses that are totally free. Find out what you need for your type of business and then go forward. Awesome. Before working in your business, what was the most unusual or interesting job you have ever had? Mm, unusual? Um, I haven't had anything really unusual. Um, interesting. Hmm. <laughs> well, that was a good question. I, I enjoyed um, working in the pharmaceutical industry. Mm -hmm. um, not, not because it was pharmaceuticals necessarily, uh, although they paid extremely well, had great benefits. It was five minutes from my home. So I, I, I would say that's probably the best part of it. And it was interesting, um, you know, learning about different, I guess, not medications per se, but 
um, because I because I did purchasing. So I had to deal with a lot of different departments, which is where the DISC model of human behavior would have come really handy. <laughs> you know, quality yes. assurance, packaging, um, marketing, um, you know, HPB, the health, protect health protection branch. I had to deal with all of those people. So it was interesting because I met a lot of people, but the people that I really enjoyed working with most were my suppliers. Mm. And that, I guess you could say that was the most interesting part of it because I had great suppliers, great suppliers. And it was more of a, it was a, it was a business relationship that was, it, it was geared to personal in a way because mm -hmm. we really got along well. We really had great conversations. We could talk to each other. And, and it, to me, that's what I found the most exciting. That's awesome. I love that. What tools do you use to support yourself? To support myself in what way? Your, your overall well-being and your health. And... Oh, okay. Okay. Well, you know I'm a runner. Um, and while we could before go to the gym, so I go to the gym, I golf. Um, I take appropriate supplements. Um, well, you know, one of those supplements could be wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's a supplement. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't kill anything, right? <laughs> yeah, it comes from the ground. <laughs> it does come from the ground. Yeah. You know, enjoying, enjoying being in the Okanagan, really. Oh my goodness, right? We're so you lucky. Know, yeah, you go out, you're like, we're so close to the lake. And that, I, I kind of feed off of that. So mm -hmm. I, I, I find it very peaceful. When I, when I go down by the lake. Me too. I love being around water for sure. Yeah, exactly. exactly. How do you balance your career and your home life? Well, that's not really much of a problem. Um, I really, even now I kind of work on my schedule. And if something interesting comes up, I'll say, okay, you know, I don't have any kids just me and my husband um and he's retired as well i'd say i'm semi-retired because i choose to work when i want to work um and and we play golf together we've done i guess from the beginning we you know for 50 years we've always done things together so that's awesome that's awesome 50 years amazing do you do you have a favorite quote oh hmm, i do um, try to remember it. I don't know if I can remember it correctly, but it's courage doesn't always roar. Sometimes it's the quiet voice at the end of the day. Mm. It might not be the exact one, but yeah. I have that in my book. So it was one of the chapters and I put it in there. Oh, I love that. Well, so good. So good. How do you, def how do you find, define success? Happiness. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. If given a chance, who would you like to be for a day? <laughs> Flying the wall. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, I Shirley McLean. Ooh, nice. I don't know why. I mean, I've read her books. Yeah. Um, to me, she's just like a real person. Oh, I love that announcement. That's great. I love Shirley McLean. Great. If your house was burning down, what is the one non-living thing you would save? I hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> <laughs> You know, no, no, no. In the Okanagan, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> true. Well, besides myself, um, and I don't have a dog now, so if I had a dog, it would be the dog. Um, that's a very good question. Uh, let's see. I know it sounds silly, but I would say 
the ashes from our golden retriever. Hmm. Yep. I know how dogs have touched your souls over the years and stuff. So that doesn't surprise me at all. That's <laughs> nice. I like that. Um, tell us three things most people don't know about you. Hmm. Three. I ran, well, some people know, but a majority of people don't know that I ran 12 marathons. That's awesome. 12 marathons. I did two bodybuilding competitions. Wow. And we swam with dolphins in the wild. In the wild? Whereabouts was yep. that? Pardon? Whereabouts was that? Uh, we did it twice. So once was in Hawaii. And the other one was in, uh, in the Bahamas. Mm, beautiful. Yeah. Aside from those people most important to you in your life, what are your top three life highlights? Um, one was when I got my professional purchaser certification. Mm. Um, because that was a big deal. <laughs> a lot of studying, uh, writing a paper and then having a, an interview and then <laughs> sitting in the, so this was in Toronto. I, they flew me to Toronto and I was in this hotel and so they were in one room and I was in another room and then they do the interview and then you have to leave the room and then you go back and they tell you whether you've got it or not. And I smiled. I mean, people must have been wondering what I was doing. I smiled all <laughs> down in the elevator. <laughs> I got it. That was a big win. Oh. So that was an accomplishment. Um, running the marathons. And I'm going to go back to being a master trainer in human uh in, in human uh, behavior. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So I, I, we talked briefly before we started about your TV show and I know you've been doing, how long have you been doing this for, for now? Uh, since October. Wow. And I know you like it. So can you tell us more about your TV show? Well, it's once a week. So it's every Thursday at 1 p.m. Pacific. And it's through Win Win Women. So that's a group that's uh, based out of the United States, but we have show hosts worldwide so if anybody wants to be a show host um you know i can you can reach out and i can give you the, they'll put they'll give you all the information um and it's this whole show is one hour so the first half hour is actually recorded so we're not communicating with each other because they're they're um they're down they're they're recorded and downloaded so you can always go back and see the old episodes um, and mine, of course, is about communicating and connecting, not only with other people, but with yourself. So I talk about emotional intelligence in some, some parts. I talk about um, the model of human behavior in some parts. I've talked about uh, boosting your listening skills. Uh, what, what are, it's once a week, so there's a lot of topics, right? Um, what was one of the other ones? I'm looking over here because I have my books. Um, Oh, uh, how to quiet a small little voice in your head. And I wrote an mm. article with you on that. Yeah. Um, so th that's really what it's about. I had a guest a couple of weeks ago. So I can have guests on the show. So once the 30 minutes is gone and I turn the recording off, anybody who's on the call, then we have an open discussion. And it could be about something you heard on the show or it could be anything else. And in fact, that's what's happened a lot of times. You know, we started talking and I, so I've met people from, mostly from the United States. Um, that's Cause you know, it is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. And then if you're over in Europe, it's different times, time zone, right? So that's what makes it challenging. But these shows are running continuously uh, for 24 hours. I, I think we're up to 24 hours a day because we have so many show hosts, so many topics. And mine is is unlocking the people puzzle, obviously. <laughs> so how how do we how do we how does Dale get to read Shauna's mind? And that's <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. And what else would you like to share? Oh man, 
that's a good question. Um, well, I, I would encourage anybody, okay, and, and including parents, I would encourage anybody to do a disc profile assessment. So it's not a test, right? And you can go from a six page to a 64 page um, assessment. But what it does is you just, you just answer 40 questions. Actually, they're not quite questions. So you have a choice, what you're most like and what you're least like. But it gives you a, a great overview of who you are naturally. So in other words, Shona, when you, when you were born, this is you, and that is not going to change. Then you get another graph that says it's, it's called your nurture. And then what that does is that tells you how you learn to deal with the world. So people say, oh, I'm not the same person at work as I am at home. Well, that's why. Most people have, have developed, um, you know, ways of, of being in the workplace. Uh, don't, you know, even if it's something like, but don't get too close to your employees, but you want to get close to them because you want, you want them to know that you care. Mm -hmm. Right. So that, that's, that's the biggest thing for me is just do it. I mean, if you don't do anything with it after that, I actually will do a, a coaching session after that, but because there's so much information and, and Shawnee, you might do it. You might say, oh, well, but that's, that's me, but that's not really me. And so we look at the overall picture and well, why is that in there? Because of something that you answered. It's quite complex. I mean, mm -hmm. it, you know, doing the, doing the program was like, um, well, the first one was three days. Um, the second, the, the leadership part was two days. And it's jam packed with information. And you walk out of there and go, what did I learn? <laughs> <laughs> um, but as you said earlier, because of practice, and because of, um, you know, the notes that you have, you can keep going back to it. Mm -hmm. And the exciting part of that is if you've done the assessment and you, you have, um, you have a, um, um, oh, I can't think of the right word now, but you're, you're talking with someone, right? You're having a conversation and something just doesn't add up. And you get this weird look from the other person. Well, from something that maybe I said to the other person, let's say, use myself as an example. And then I, then I go back and I, oh, wait a minute now. This person did this when I said that. And I might go back and look at my notes and say, oh, yeah, right. Hmm. I should have I said this instead of that. Because we don't, you know, we don't all hear the same. Mm -hmm. We hear things differently. Yeah, I find uh, reflection is so important. And when I would, I'd go for, I like walk and I walk every day and then I kind of reflect, oh my goodness, you know, John came and asked, asked me something and did I respond correctly? And did, you know, you kind of just, it's good to reflect and think back about, did I handle that properly? Or did, did I even answer the question you wanted? And it's good to reflect and just think back about people's, like you said, reactions and, or how you're feeling too. And just like, what well, happened we, there? Be curious. Yeah, be curious because we don't, we're not always the same every day, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, you, you get up one morning and something goes wrong and then, then it's like, oh, okay, well, that's my day. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so, and, but, but those emotions, and that's why I like to get into emotional intelligence as well, mm -hmm. that affects your whole day. Absolutely. But I want people to know that emotional intelligence isn't, it's just not woo-woo. It's not oh, I have to share my emotions. This has nothing to do with that. It's no. how you use your emotions um, in many, many ways. So it could be in communication or interpersonal relationships. It could be solving problems. It could be making decisions. So those are some of the things that we touch on. And, and I like the way that, that it blends well with the model of human behavior. Because if you, if you do both, you can actually see that there's a crossover. Now, some people make decisions quickly. Mm -hmm. Why is that? We need to know why that is. 
So it's a great, I, I find the two pair together so well. It's, it's incredible. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for today. I'll include the link to uh, Dale's TV show in uh, these postings and stuff, but uh, always wonderful to talk to you. And thank you for sharing you. some of your wisdom and some more about you. Well, thank you for having me on your call. Absolutely. Okay. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Bye.